a new armor set, Steam and Twitch drops. There is so much to get into with this blog post. Hello everyone and welcome on back to the channel. I ate an entire pizza by myself last night so I'm feeling very groggy. How are you doing? Today we have some very exciting news to go over and to dive headfirst and deep into because there is so much to get into with Guild Wars 2's 10th anniversary right around the corner. Let's start with the blog post and go from there. Today, ArenaNet released another blog post going over some of the features that are coming with the 10th anniversary patch and beyond it. So we have the blog post Studio Update Guild Wars 2 10th anniversary and Steam launch on August 23rd. It is official that Steam is launching on August 23rd. We had seen some information floating around on the Steam store that might have suggested this and it is now confirmed. Introducing the world of Tyria to an entirely new group of players who are looking for something different. Lovely, lovely messaging. And that's really the core of Guild Wars 2. And what better way to do that uh, than by introducing the game to a different platform, be that on Steam. So this portion of the blog post reads, it's time to tell your friends to update their Steam wish lists. We're pleased to announce that Guild Wars 2 will launch on Steam on August 23rd at noon Pacific time. This is something we've wanted to do for a long time and the 10th anniversary felt like the perfect moment to make it happen. Steam players will be able to experience the core Guild Wars 2 game for free, with the same restrictions applied to free accounts on the normal free-to-play experience. With options to upgrade to Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, and End of Dragons from day one. We've heard your feedback that Living World Unlocks should be better communicated to prospective players, so we'll also be creating a complete collection bundle that includes Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, End of Dragons, and Seasons 2 through 5. Additionally, we'll be making it clear on our Steam page that Living World Seasons must be purchased separately from expansions. No surprises. We want to make the most of the Steam launch, so over the past few months we've been working on improvements to the new player experience. We've improved leveling, pacing, updated default options, and keybinds to be more sensible, and <laughs> added multiple tiers of new achievements that guide players up through level 80. Okay, added a free trial for the Raptor Mount once players reach level 10, adjusted level up rewards, and Black Lion Instant level 80 tickets. Really? Interesting. Updated early game content like world bosses with revised mechanics and tutorials, streamlined dungeon currencies, made it easier to get into raid content, added accessibility options, improved the player experience in story instances, revamped fractal instabilities, improved raid and strike mission rewards and currencies, removed tedious mechanics like equipment repairing, some long-standing content bugs, and implemented the Direct X 11 update to improve game performance. We've also released the first three episodes of Living World Season 1, we're happy to report that our metrics show that these changes have made a significant impact and will continue to make additional improvements in the coming months as we monitor the Steam launch. We'll see a steady stream of new players coming into the game from Steam moving forward, so even changes that come after launch will be beneficial. Overall, we're feeling pretty good about the balance we struck between investing in the new player experience and making progress towards developing future content for our veteran players. We're incredibly excited about the upcoming Steam launch, and we hope you'll join us in shouting it from the rooftops. Tell your friends, family, neighbors, and of course, your gamer pals. This is the perfect time to join the Guild Wars 2 community. Wonderful, wonderful content going over just the laundry list, the very wide breadth of changes that they have done. Overall, they are really great changes, and they will make a better impact on new players' experiences uh, via leveling and just uh, integrating with some of the systems. As they mentioned that there might be more improvements and updates in the coming months as they continue to reassess and uh, evaluate the new player experience, and that's something that I'm hopeful for as well. Now for the Guild Wars 2 10th anniversary event. It wouldn't be a true celebration if we didn't show some love to the community that supported us all these years. When you log in on August 23rd, you'll find a new series of achievements waiting for you that will take you on a journey to experience the best of Guild Wars 2 world bosses, Heart of Thorns, Path of Fire, End of Dragons, Living World, World vs. World, Player vs. Player, and more. As you complete these tasks, you'll earn Proofs of Legend, which can be traded in for the new Decade Armor set. 
These achievements are permanent additions to the game, so our new friends joining us from Steam will be able to make progress on these achievements as they explore Tyria at their own pace. A plus 30% bonus to Karma, Magic Find, and PvP and World vs. World Reward Track progress will be active for one week starting on August 23rd. As is tradition, we'll also have a wide range of gem store sales to celebrate the anniversary, and maybe even a few freebies to collect. Spoiler, a mount skin! Woo! Baby! A mount skin! I am very much excited about this. Now, I don't think they've given any detail about the 10th anniversary um, present for accounts, and I was almost wor I was almost worried that this armor set was going to be the 10th anniversary birthday. However, it's not. It's just for everyone. So it's something that every single player, both free and veteran, who own the expansion, they'll be able to work on achievements to collect some extra currency to then trade it in for this really beautiful armor set. Gotta say, super high fidelity, uh, integrates a lot of the dragon motifs. This cape looks super nice. It's almost Canthan in a way, so it gives players, if they are perhaps free-to-play players, a little taste at some higher quality armor sets, some more of the modern designs. Next up, we have Twitch drops coming to Guild Wars 2. Soon you'll be able to link your Twitch and Guild Wars 2 accounts and earn rewards for watching any Twitch channel broadcasting Guild Wars 2 on Twitch. Tune into any Twitch livestream with Twitch drops enabled between August 23rd at noon Pacific time and August 28th to earn transmutation charges, boosters, a mini, a glowing purple mask, and your choice of a classic Guild Wars 2 character outfit. Members of the Arena Net Partner Program, that's me! We'll be streaming a wide variety of content during the Steam release week and 10th anniversary and also beyond to showcase all facets of Guild Wars 2 story content, raids, strike missions, fractals, PvP World vs. World, and more. There will be something for everyone. Stay tuned for more information on how to participate. And that is something to note. During the week of the 10th anniversary, I, myself, and others, uh, be it partner program or just community content creators, we're all going to be streaming Guild Wars 2, and if you are someone who is new to the game, this is going to be yet another perfect opportunity to ask questions, meet your chosen family, and find your friend group. And uh, you can catch me over at my Twitch, streaming throughout the week, Mondays through Fridays, and especially during the week of the 10th anniversary. Call to arms. When Guild Wars 2 launches on Steam on August 23rd, we'll have a wave of new players entering Tyria for the very first time, and those players will be looking for new friends and communities to call home. We hope our veteran players will join us in welcoming these new players into our world with open arms. We're stronger together. Beyond the 10th anniversary and Steam launch, there's so much on the horizon that we're excited about. Some of the big items are the final two episodes of Living World Season 1, plus a new strike mission and challenge mode to boot, a new location and story to experience in Cantha, and World vs. World updates, including the world restructuring and alliances. Additionally, and not to mention, that the new expansion, Expansion 4, is in early development. There's never been a better time to be a Guild Wars 2 player. I almost said there's never been a better time to call Guild Wars 2 home, but mama, both Truths can exist at once. In addition to the blog post, which was absolutely fantastic, giving a rundown, a bunch of their accomplishments, uh, the launch on Steam, Twitch drops, and the future content coming in as well. Everything is looking super exciting for this game, Guild Wars 2, an MMO that was released in 2012, still going strong in 2022, and even more to come. They also released a brand new trailer for Guild Wars 2 Steam, and, Gotta say, I really enjoy it. I've already watched it. It's only 40 seconds, but we're gonna go over it and uh, pick out some key points about mm -hmm. this. So we start with Journey Across Tyria, really great editing, uh, and just, I think this trailer, to sum it up, TLDR, is really great. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, it's fairly attention-grabbing, and most importantly, it showcases, in my opinion, one of Guild Wars 2's strongest aspects, this being combat. A lot of the trailers in the past um, have maybe lacked a little bit of that action. And it also showcases some beautiful aspects of Guild Wars 2. The graphical fidelity is turned up. It looks like they have set shadows. This is a really strong trailer. I like it. And I hope to see maybe a couple more trailers uh, come maybe uh, in the week leading up to the Steam release or just after like a new player like, what is gear? how to engage in combat, how to 
what is a build? How to build your character? Specializations and training skills. All of that would be very useful, but that's also something that we as community members can create for players uh, as well. Overall, I am super excited for Guild Wars 2's release on Steam on August 23rd. I cannot wait to see the amount of players coming in, new players, and a bunch of the new adventures that people are going to be able to experience uh, if they have been waiting for this game to launch on Steam and haven't tried it out, or are just perusing Steam and seeing Guild Wars 2 on there is like, oh, I've heard of that game, it's free, I should maybe try it out. Um, I think this is going to be a really fun time for Guild Wars 2, and I cannot wait to see everyone on Twitch streaming, giving away stuff, doing drops, all of that. I think it's going to be a really fun time for Guild Wars 2. And I would love to hear what you think about all of this juicy Steam information. What is something that stood out to you in this blog post that has you super excited and super pumped? Please comment down below and let's just, let's just get ourselves invested in the energy. If you would like to support the channel and get content early, head on over to the Patreon where you can support the channel. If you would like to purchase Guild Wars 2 now, the expansions, or start early and try it for free, use my links down below, provided by ArenaNet. Thank you so very much. And if you once again want to catch me on Twitch, I'm over there every single day of the week, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.